In this session, we are discussing another basic operation on Q that is the deletion on Q. Now, we did the deletion in our example. In our earlier video, we discussed the insertion operation on Q. Prior to that, we discussed all the operations of a Q with this particular diagram. We know that deletion will take place only from the front end. Now, we know that if front is equal to 0, we know that if front is equal to 0, that means the Q is empty. I need not to check whether rear is equal to 0 or not. Because if front is equal to 0, then there is no need to check the value for rear that will indicate that the Q is empty. And we know that whenever data is not there, but deletion operation we are trying to carry, uh, carry out. So, that situation is known as underflow. So, what will be the check for underflow? If front is equal to 0, then it is underflow. Okay. Now, see we can we can have this deletion operation from the front end. So, obviously, the data will be picked up from the front. So, what will be the code in that case? Item is equal to let the array name be q, q front. So, item is equal to q within third bracket front will retrieve the value from the front place to the item variable. Now, after reading the value, after reading the value, I should update my front. Now, front can have three different situations. Situation number one, we know that whenever front is equal to rear, this situation is not there. Whenever front is equal to rear and not equal to zero, that means we are having a single data. I told you this one. Let us suppose initially I inserted A. In that case, front was one and rear was one. So, front is equal to rear and not equal to zero means only one data is there. So, if I delete that one, then obviously front will become 0. So, that is my case study number 1. Case study number 2, let us suppose in this particular case, the front is equal to 4 and due to the circular logic, rear is equal to 1. Okay. Now, if I delete D, then front will be 5 and rear will be 1. In that case, front will be 5 and rear will be 1. Now, see when the front is equal to the max Q, then if we perform the deletion operation, then E will get deleted, then front will come to 1. So, that means, if front is equal to max Q, then front is equal to 1. I think I am clear to, to you in this respect. Let us suppose D has got deleted. So, front has become E. So, E means at the location number 5. So, it will be 5 and it will be 1. Okay. Now, what will happen? So, I am just erasing, I am just explaining. So, if it is, if it is uh, E then, then it will be 5 in that case. Now, in this case, if I carry on the delete operation, then from the front end the deletion will take place as usual. So, E will get deleted, then the front will become 1. That means what? That means if front is equal to, if front is equal to max Q, then front will be 1. So, it will come back to the linear logic again. And the default case is front is equal to front plus 1. So, that means if I delete data from the second place, so third place data will be the next front. So, let us come to the algorithm and it is very easy for us after explaining this concept. So, if front is equal to 0, then print underflow means there is no scope to perform any deletion operation because there was no uh, data. So, else item is equal to Q front that means I am picking up the value from the front location. If front is equal to rear that means only one data is there. Front is equal to rear means only one data is there and as it is in the else part that means the front is not equal to 0. If front was 0 then if then part will get executed, but I am in the else part. So, that indicates that front is equal to rear is, is not equal to 0. That means only one data after deletion front will become 0 that means no data will remain in the queue. If front is equal to max queue just now I have discussed then front is equal to 1 else the default case is front is equal to front plus 1 and exit. The full code has been written under the algorithm Q delete. The algorithm name should be very much purposeful. So, Q delete means deletion operation on a Q algorithm. And here you are passing this Q, there is an array, front, rear, we should require the max Q because I have used max Q here. So, max Q has to be passed and the item and which is the output argument here. Item is the output argument because after deletion only I know the value which has got deleted. 
So this is my example, this is my algorithm, I discuss the logic, you write your programs accordingly. Thanks for watching this video.